to look after some of the most vulnerable children in society. Today, foster carers in Devon left their homes to protest about controversial changes to their allowances. Devon County Council has approved the changes designed to simplify the payments. But there are warnings from some foster carers that the change will leave them worse off and they may have to stop doing it. Duncan Slighthome is at the meeting. You, 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 you are foster care. Without you, foster care doesn't exist. On the steps of County Hall, some of the most experienced foster carers in Devon. After today's decision, many told me they feel deeply undervalued by the County Council. For you, this will have a big impact. Yeah, I don't think they realise how much this is actually going to affect. Out of 270 carers in Devon, 108 are facing costs between £5,000 and £15,000 a year. What will this mean to your household? I've actually gone back to work, you know, because I've already looked ahead at where we're going to be losing money. In our house, it's taking the money from the teenagers, the 16 plus. Yeah. They're the ones they're taking all the money from. They're the ones that are most difficult to place. Devon County Shame on you. It's 24-7 work and um, no, we don't get any respite or support as we used to. Um, it's more challenging than it was. In the committee rooms today, councillors agreed changes should be made to allowances. The county council says the current system of payments to carers isn't fair because different people will receive different amounts of money for looking after the same child. And while it admits that under the new model, 40% of foster carers will get less money, it also says 50% will receive more. Many here fear they'll be worse off, but the council hopes to attract more foster carers by simplifying what it describes as a complex system. I think we're up to about an extra 30 have come into the service in the last 12 months and we want to increase on that. So I'm really saddened if people say they, they're going to leave. But I think when they actually look at the financial issues, they look at the support that the County Council gives them as, as a foster parent to help them with challenges through their placement, I very much hope they'll stay with us. Calls for a delay in the decision were rejected, but the carers here say their fight is far from finished. Duncan Slyshome, BBC Spotlight, Exeter. Now a brief roundup of some of the other news tonight. A woman who started...